Attention, alien starship. You have arrived at the central trade world of the Crimson Corporation, home of the Druge. Be welcome and take advantage of our excellent deal. Okay, I would like to make a purchase. <clears throat> Since this is your first time trading with us, Captain, allow me to explain our standard operating procedures. We will sell you fuel, ancient artifacts, even our own Mauler starships. All that we ask in return is that you assign some of your crew to serving here at our trade world on a permanent basis. Okay. <clears throat> That's like slave trading. Yeah, it is. No, 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 Captain. Slaves have no choice in their destiny. No freedom. We would never accept the permanent assignment of one of your people unless we knew that they had granted you the rights to make such a deal. Right. So what would my crew do there? <laughs> As skilled as your flagship's crew will receive immediate posts in our Starfleet. They will serve alongside our own true Starship personnel, sharing every duty. I have to give in to the power of evil. Let us begin. Our inventory presently includes the Rosy Sphere, an ancient precursor artifact of unrivaled beauty and mystery. Yours for the amazing bargain of only... Oh my god, that's a lot. ...the trident of <clears throat> Wimbley. Not just one, but fully three mystic prongs. Give this artifact its awesome capabilities. Are you strong enough to master its power, or will it master you? Cost? 100 crew. Oh, that's horrible. What unearthly powers will you gain when you hold this coruscating step high above your head and scream, Kai, Lai Chi, Lai Yi? And it can be yours for only 100 crew. As always, we also have an unlimited <sighs> supply of exceptional high-performance starship fuel at a cost of 10 crew for 10 units of fuel as well as a freshly assembled Mauler starship which we will trade for 100 of your crew right so the Maulers are actually quite cheap for 500 each pretty much at the moment um, now the thing is the only one of these items that is really good is the rosy sphere and that's the one that I really really want um, it's weird giving away my crew for like this but I stride to the sphere's containment vessel and pull it slowly from its ancient cradle the dust of centuries has made a gentle well there it has come free now into Feel that, Captain. Has the warmth already penetrated the skin of your hands into your soul? Well, it soon shall, Captain. Just keep trying. <laughs> yeah, the Wimbley's Trident and the Glowing Rod. I got them the first time the games the game was saying, and they are not the most useful things in the world. Done buying. As you wish. Oh, it's weird. I'll leave Return now. Soon, Better to get away from these people. They are not good. They're not good peeps. Um, so yeah, that's that's the Druge. Um, I need, I believe, the um, the clear spindle is the one which the Kunk will give us. So that will be located in 
Gamma Persei, I believe, which I think is down here somewhere. Right. Right, Alpha Kruger. Right, there's something in the. The Gamma Kruger. There, there we go. I'm in Zeta Persei. That makes sense. Gamma Kruger. That is a long way to go. There are no main star systems on route. This could be troublesome. We are going a long, long way. But I think we can make it. <laughs> so, those are the Druge. Now, one of the things that makes them an interesting species in this is your ability to trade with them. Now, the more crew that you trade with them, the more worrying the rumours become. Uh, because, despite what the Druze are saying, they are putting their people into your in, into their starships, maybe. But then again, the way they gain energy for their starships is throwing their own crew into a furnace. So, they're not exactly the best people, and we certainly wouldn't really want to trade our crew with them in real life. Unfortunately, I've left it too late to start going after other items to trade for these things. It's a decision I have to live with. So, we're now in December of 2150, 2157, which means that time is really running out. I mean, you can see just how much time passes in the game. And considering how much, um, considering how much we've got to actually um, worry about time, I, I believe that uh, 2059 is when um, the, the things really start to kick off and uh, they basically come for Earth. Uh, so we don't have a lot of time, we're a little bit worried about that. Uh, as far as as far as it goes though, um, I'm not too I'm not too worried at the moment. I mean, I know that the clear spindle is in Gamma Kruger from my notes. Um, I know that the Aqua Helix, which is another item needed to repair the Ultron, and we'll get to that in a minute, is in Zeta Draconis. I'm not entirely sure how um, we're going to deal with the Zeta Dragon Draconis problem, but you know we've we've always got to you know we've always got to cope with these things when they come. <laughs> Um, yeah, basically, um, as far as I know, things are always a little bit hard when it comes to these um, when it comes to these games. I mean, we've got to figure out everything that's going on, and we've only got a limited amount of time. I mean, look, we, we've already passed one month traveling through hyperspace. We're also in a really bad position as well because um, when it comes to uh, like the fuel which we've got, or rather, when it comes to time, I've got to go all the way up, get the stuff to the base, go up and um, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to do it in five months in terms of game time um, to get all of the items to repair the, the Ultron, but we're only going to find that out the hard way. Now here's a system which uh, the Melnor may are in. I'm not going to spend too much time messing around with them, I'm going to go straight down to the Pekunk and straight back up to Sol. Then I'm going to answer the, the the problems. Oh God, I really wanted to get the Vux Beast, uh, but I don't think we've got I don't think we've got time to get that. Um, I mean, we're gonna need to um, we're gonna need to get the Kunks, uh, so we'll find out what happens then. This is this is the home of the Pekunk, so let's engage with them in conversation. Uh, join me next time. Bye bye.